So next you're going to go ahead and cut out all the pieces. I already started getting the wing out as you can see. Um, if you want a razor blade of course and a straight edge. Um, I just got these cheapo dollar store razor blades. They're kind of nice again because they've got the breakable sections so as you dull them you can just break it off and keep on going rather than trying to waste a whole bunch of more expensive razor blades. So what you end up doing, uh, pretty simple, you just want to line up your line you know, right next to it. And then um, I do recommend kind of going lightly over it once to score the paper. And then take, you know, one or two more strokes to go through it the rest of the way. When it's a real fresh blade, it'll go right through. And I don't know if you can see, but it makes for a very nice clean edge. So I'll go ahead and get these cut out. Now again, I just cut off the top portion. The rest of these you want to leave together so, right here, you're not going to actually cut along those lines, just for the top piece. Um, and I'll show you a little more about that later. Alright, so I got all the main pieces cut out. Uh, a couple of tips I wanted to show you that I forgot to, to mention the first time around. First of all, that uh, there's that little slot that I forgot to draw in. Again, I centered it 3 sixteenths wide by 2 inches deep, so that'll be for the, the rudder over there. Um, and I did just cut the ailerons completely off, or the elevator and ailerons and, and uh, rudder there completely off. As far as um, cutting out this outline, I forgot to mention, it's not a bad, I mean you can just cut along the line with, it, uh, with an X-Acto knife or razor. I actually put the bowl right on there, line up with the marks and just whoosh, whoosh, and it's just really quick and easy, makes for a nice clean edge. You can see it looks pretty perfectly round, which is kind of nice. There's a good KF airfoil chunk. Um, now I wanted to talk to you about the uh, fuselage here. There's that top piece that I just completely disconnected. Haven't cut it the rest of the way out. But uh, the other parts are connected. However, you'll notice I've already started uh, making this bevel cut because the goal here is to be able to fold these up. So what you do, um, I want to show you how this works. You basically take um, your ruler and line it up. It's You just kind of guesstimate about, you know, uh, maybe a quarter inch back or so, maybe a little more. And what you're going to do is after you line that up, you take your razor blade and just kind of gauge with your eye going down in here, kind of see where the point is and see if it lines up with the uh, where the base down there uh, but with this line. Because you're going to end up kind of moving the ruler back as far as you need to do that and slice through in a couple slices this way. Flip it around and do the same thing over there and you'll end up with something like that. If it's not 100% perfect, no huge thing. Try not to push too hard when you get down to the bottom because you don't want to uh, cut through the paper if you can avoid it. If you do, it's no huge thing. Tape will fix that too. Um, but yeah, basically what you do is after you get that cut out, it'll allow you to fold it up and it'll look really nice on the other side. It'll just be a clean edge. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up and finish some other little operations up with this thing. Show you uh, what to do after you get them cut out. So I got all the main pieces cut out now and I thought I'd go into a little more detail here. Um, you saw the uh, beveled cuts that I made to the uh, both sides of the line so they could fold up. Um, what you didn't see is I also made beveled cuts on each of these edges. There, there. Not the outside ones because those are going to be on the top. Um, so the ones that will be on the top when it folds up you don't need. The same thing here, I did bevel cuts and again I just used the straight edge about a quarter inch back and kind of aimed the blade right, tried not to hit the paper. And then if, you, if you're not exactly perfect, it's not a big deal. Um, it'll work out in the end. You can fill in stuff with, uh, with the hot glue. But I did that to each of these edges and each of these edges. Again, the outside ones you don't need to do because those are going to be up flush like this. And that piece right there is going to go on top. I'm actually, I forgot to do it, but I'm going to cut right here and here on those dotted lines like I mentioned earlier and just take out that portion. Um, again, this will go on top. Um, this little piece is going to sit in the recess there, which I'll show you. You know, it'll sit up on top, and then this will lay on top of that, you know, and uh, it'll, this part will actually be on top of this piece. 
which will center on those tick marks. And then we'll end up sticking this rudder piece recessed in there. And that little rudder will be taped to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start assembling things. And uh, I'll, I'll show you afterwards what I did. Actually, one last thing I did do is um, on all the ailerons and uh, ele you know the elevator and the uh, rudder piece, I did an angled cut on one edge um, of those. You don't have to do it on both sides, just one edge. You know, so those are the, you know, the ailerons that way. And then on the KF airfoil, you want to look for the boat edge and the, on the, you know, the edge that it dishes up. That's the side you want to make a 45 degree cut um, so that this will be sitting on the top of the wing with the bow like this with that 45 degree angle cut. And then it's the opposite on the wing, the bow. So you, you find the bow so that it's dishing this way. You flip it over and make an angled cut. Um, and what that'll do is when you put the KF airfoil piece on top, it's going to make sort of a sharp triangular point, which will be our airfoil. Um, and so what I'm going to use to assemble this, I have some 3M, uh, it's just spray adhesive. You can use whatever you want. You could use a little hot glue. I just like the spray adhesive. It's nice and quick. So I'll spray that and glue that to this leading edge. And then I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll use, after it's all glued in and this is hanging off, I'll drag the razor blade along the edge of this using this as a guide to cut that flush. So I'll go ahead and get that going. I'll also be taping some of the, the ailerons and the uh, elevator and the rudder. I'm going to use some packing tape just along there to tape those in there and make a little hinge. I'll show you a little more detail on that as well. But um, Oh yeah, last thing, you'll probably notice something funny about the fuselage pieces. If you notice on the dotted line, I actually cut um, very, I just scored the paper and then I peeled it off from these front nose sections. And what that does is it allows this section to bend on this side and compress without wrinkling the paper. So that'll come in handy when you're bending this in and have forcing those to meet. I did the same thing here and I just cut about an inch wide, it doesn't matter. You could go anywhere from a half inch to the whole tail, it doesn't matter. Um, but that'll just allow this little section to bend. I didn't really need to do the whole tail because it's straight after that and I figured maybe that it add a little extra rigidity. If you do, no big deal. It's not a big deal at all. So that's the basics there. I'll start assembling this and get back to you. Alright, so now I went ahead and taped the elevator on there, just using some packing tape. I first taped the back and then I fold it over and tape around, push it down on all edges. And that makes it, you know, a nice little hinge there. Um, did the same thing for the little rudder there. Um, and then I, you know, I did the spray adhesive on this uh, piece that goes across the top to make the KF airfoil. And you can kind of see from the edge view that it makes sort of a triangular thing going on there. Trimmed and flushed with the edges. Um, and then I uh, put the little, um, you know, ailerons on there. These I just used a one piece of tape on each end. First tape the back again and fold it over. Uh, same thing, both sides there. So that's the main wing. Um, next thing I'll do is flip this over and um, we're at the edge of the the little profile. Let's see if I can show you this. Where the edge of the profile ends. Not the edge of the wing, but the edge of the profile. I'll tape, I'll spray adhesive um, this to the edge. Wouldn't uh, hurt to draw a center line and then a center line on this to make sure that's nice and centered. Um, and this is also going to act as the, the the edges of the body are going to hit this to, to keep this um, kind of centered and in the wing. So it is pretty important that this is positioned correctly. I'll go ahead and do that and show you the results.